Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Queen Esther. If you've been here from the start, welcome back. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give you a revelation. And I tell this all the time. And other people even tell you this all the time. But God literally gave me a dream about this thing. He literally showed me what happened. So, the other day... This is how you silence the devil over your promises, over your blessing. When he tried to speak lies to you, let me tell you what I did. So the other day, I was just coming from work and stuff. And I'm hearing all these thoughts. Oh, basically trying to tell me to settle for what I asked God for. Oh, you should get this. You should go to here. And I'm like, oh, you, you need to pay your bills. You don't have money. And all these lies. So you know what? I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have to listen to these thoughts. Like, I was just there and not really saying anything. And then on my way from work, I just start speaking the scripture. But what he was lying to me about, what I did was took the scriptures. My God supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Honestly, I was just, I used that specific scripture and I was worshiping God for like, I was using the scripture to worship for like a good 20 minutes, 10 minutes. I don't even remember, but I was worshiping with the scripture. It's not, I wasn't just worshiping. I actually believe what the scripture says. So that's the, that, that makes a big difference too, right? All you have to do is just start worshiping. We are, whatever is lying to you about, you find a scripture, right? And you use it to worship. I was just worshiping regular and then... I went to sleep and the Lord gave me a dream, right? It was like, it was like in the corner of my room. The enemy was sitting down on one side and there was somebody sitting in front of the enemy. And the Lord was telling me that represented the cross, what, Je what Jesus did on the cross, right? So in the dream, I was hiding behind the cross. I was hiding behind Jesus. And the devil, I thought the devil could see me, but he couldn't. He was just seeing the cross. He was seeing Jesus. So I was hiding behind it. So I was like, okay, Lord, I don't want him to see me. And I asked the Holy Spirit to make me invisible. When the, the Holy Spirit made me invisible in the dream, I went next to, I walk up to the enemy and I had a sword in my hand and I was just chopping him, cutting him, chopping him, cutting him, right? But the funny thing is, all this time, he didn't know it was me. He's seeing the cross. He's seeing Jesus, right? Why? Because I was speaking the word. I was using the scripture. I tell you, I've been telling you this before, but I literally, the Lord show me himself. When you speak the scripture, the devil don't know if it's Jesus or if it's just a regular person. That was one of the revelations from the dream. And then something else happened in the dream. And I was like, oh my gosh, now the devil could see me. But when I walk up to him again and I, and I was like cutting him with the sword, I realized he still didn't recognize it was me because I was using the scriptures. I was using the word. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This was awesome, people. I'm telling you, he sat there. And he took all the cuts, all the word I was speaking, and he couldn't do a thing. He had to sit down like a little child and say nothing. He, he, he was just there and he's thinking that this is Jesus doing it. So I can't do nothing about it. That's so much authority you have. That's how the enemy sees you when you speak the word of God. You are in covenant with Christ. He don't know who on earth is speaking because... You are using the scriptures. This is what God gave you. This is your tool. Stop. I'm not going to say stop. Like, this is what you should do instead of stressing over the promise, stressing over the blessing. You find a scripture and you worship God, you know. And this morning, again, I woke up and I hear this lie from the devil. Oh, I stole something from you in your dream, whatever. I was like, all right, thief, you want to play with me? I found the scripture that says, when the thief is found, he has to return what he stole sevenfold. Let me tell you this. I was singing the scripture for like 10 minutes. I could, he was mad. Like, 
<laughs> I'm like, Satan, don't play with me. I promise I heard you here. Oh, I won't lie to you again. Like I'm going to listen to a liar. I was just deal with the scripture, deal with the scripture, deal with the scripture. And I'm laughing, you know. And this is, and I heard the Lord say, this is what I mean by to stand and to celebrate and to worship. Don't let the devil stress you. You're being stressed because you're trying to use your own strength and your own words to fight him. Once he's scared of the scripture, he, he, he can't touch you with the scriptures. Just start using the scripture. Don't matter. Oh, do I really believe? Yes, you believe because you're literally trying to do what I just tell you. He hears the scripture. Okay. He cannot do a thing regarding the word. That's why the, the, the Bible says the word is sharper than a two-edged sword, right? So let me, let, let me show you how after I finish worshiping with Proverbs 6 verse 31, I'm laughing because I know the scripture is true and it's real and he's here running off his big mouth, right? I'm like, all right, Satan, you want to run your big mouth? I'm going to teach you a lesson. I was just worshiping with the scripture. Let me show you how mad this devil was. He can't come in my dream. So this was his dream. So in, the, in his dream, it's like I was in... It, it is like I, it was reflecting that I was in his dream because I said I have authority over my dream and you no devil cannot come in my dream. Okay, know your authority. And it's like I was climbing up on this ladder, and this girl out of nowhere tried to like cut me in my hands or something like that. And it's like I I got down and then there, there was somebody who tried to attack me and I like pushed the, this person and this person dropped and knocked out or something. And it's like I was looking for a teacher to, to tell her what happened. So we ended up walking around and I was trying to show her the two person. But it's like this girl who tried to cut me was basically the devil's daughter. Basically, right? And in the dream... We went in this room and all of a sudden, when people realized, oh, this girl was even the teacher, everybody was scared. They locked the, 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 the class. It was like a classroom. They locked all the doors and the devil, like they was trying to come and attack me, right? And the devil, they start to speak in this, their, their devil tongues, because that was not no real Holy Spirit tongues. And I heard like he's telling them to be silent and then he start to speak. And then I, I, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I just start speaking in tongues, right? And they was trying to come at me, but I'm speaking in tongues and I know something is happening. And then it hit me. I said, wait a minute. I command all of you to be quiet. I bind each and every one of you, one of you now in the mighty name of Jesus. When I tell you they had to stop, <laughs> couldn't touch me. I was just, I was like, don't, don't play with me. I have authority over you. Like, what are you trying to do? I bind you up right now in the mighty name of Jesus. When I tell you every attack stopped because they have to listen to me because I have authority. Don't play with me, Satan. He trying to put me in his dream to, 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 and, and guess what? He know he can't touch me. He can't kill me because I know the scriptures. He can't play with me. You hear me? Know your authority. Know the God you serve. Don't play with my father. That's how you defeat the devil. Use the word. Worship with the word. Declare the word. Stop trying to fight with your emotion and your own strength. No. When you speak the scripture, all you see is Jesus. You see the cross. You have to sit down and take those cuts. And the, the Lord said to me, that's exactly what you, you that, that's exactly um, what I was doing, like worshiping this with the scripture. He said, that's exactly what you needed to do. You literally did the right thing. Like, don't give in to your emotion. Because at first I was like, oh my gosh, I can't. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me get this scripture. Since you want to speak light to me, Satan, I'm going to speak some truth to you. You get what I'm saying? And I was just like, who, who you playing with? Who you playing with? Huh? <laughs> I know the God I serve. You want to play with me, Satan? All right, let me teach you a lesson. Let me go find a scripture. That's what you need to do. Don't play with my father. The word is real, okay? God is fighting for you. He cannot touch me. Because I know the battle doesn't belong to me, right? You can't touch me, Satan. You cannot kill me. You cannot do nothing to me. Because that's what the word says. And he ain't fighting against me. He's fighting against God. And I want to know who can defeat God. Not a soul, okay? You need to understand that and the scripture for this word is hebrews 4 verse 12 
For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Hallelujah. And you know, after this dream, I think it was yesterday, I saw this video from... Oh gosh, I forgot what he's called. David Hernandez. I don't know. Like the video literally popped up about how to defeat the enemy. And he was literally talking about you have to use the scriptures. Even Jesus used the scriptures. Jesus didn't talk about his experience. Jesus says it is written, right? When he said that, I was laughing. I was like, Lord, literally confirmation of my dream. Use the word. It is written, Satan. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. It is written, Satan. Wealth and riches is in my house. Like those are the, that's how you talk back to the enemy. You don't have to sit down and listen to his lies. You speak the truth. Oh, I don't, I used to be like, yeah, I know that's not my thought. I ain't paying him no mind. But I heard a lot say when, then I, when I start to speak the scripture back, I heard a lot say, this is what I mean by resist the devil. Resist him with the truth of the word. Don't play with my father. The scriptures are real people. If Satan is stressing you right now regarding something, go find a scripture and go worship God with it. Believe me, worship, I tell you, when you're worshiping, don't just worship with regular music. Use the scriptures to worship. Use the Psalms to worship. I'm telling you, you're going to see the difference. And make sure you, you believe what you're saying. I'm telling you. <laughs> Satan can't play with me. You hear me? <laughs> he cannot steal from you. He cannot. Once he steals from you, my friend, you find out. You go Pro Proverbs 6 verse 31. Even if you don't know, you sing the scripture. You use the scripture just in case he does something that you didn't know because he, he, he like to be slick, okay? But the scripture is your weapon, literally. This is the blueprint. This is all you need. And he's defeated. He's been defeated. Like I was in front of this devil. He couldn't even see me. I was using the sword and I was chopping him and all kind of stuff. And he was just there looking at the cross, looking at Jesus because he's thinking it's Jesus. <laughs> He couldn't touch me. Like, you need to understand this revelation here. Use the word, okay? I pray this word blesses you. Have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Bye.